Hello, welcome back on Kulvendra Computer Solution. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure HTML server. Okay, so let's start. So we will configure on Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition, which is actually on hosting on AWS. So database MySQL and I will use SMTP relay with the sandgrid.net service on port 465 the port 25 is blocked on AWS and the client we are going to use Windows 10 Pro with the Outlook 2016 all right let's go to the server okay so there is our server and first of all I will download my SQL server okay my SQL community download there is okay select my my SQL installer for Windows select that first one and so scroll down no thanks just start my download save open that file and run I have already downloaded HTML and there is a SQL setup select server only select my SQL requirements is execute select install I will fast forward these steps okay so installation finish now reconfiguration is there go back to the microsoft my sorry mysql installer reconfigure select configuration type server only and next select that password authentication which is recommended by encryption password but i will use that legacy select Select your password here. Okay, so this is this password is the for the MySQL root. So if you like to add another user, you can add it here. And I will leave as it is this with the standard account settings. And service name is MySQL port 80. So execute automatically updated firewall rules. okay so finish close run HTML server setup run so I have already downloaded my certificate plus uh, there is a lip mysql.dll file required I will show you how to download that select external database next next put password 
this is the HTML admin password. Select admin password. Next, new database. Select MySQL. Localhost. Gmail. Put any name and select that user root. Root user password. Next, select the service. And that MySQL service. So there is next next so there is error leave my sql you can easily download from the google if you search by leave my sql dot dll dot 32 bit so you can go to that first link i have downloaded from this site just scroll down there is for the 32 plus 64 okay so from here you can download i have already downloaded i will copy and place into that folder we have to place in html bin file bin folder all right so just paste here so there is file now next so it will start creating database after copy the file finish connect okay add domain my domain name is pablo.me save select that accounts add admin select the password save and uh, select the protocol go to the smtp and select the whole local host name is mail dot power dot me i like to use this one so here i will use smtp layer all right so first finish rest of the settings I will not use the pop 3 okay I will disable auto -band for the few seconds SSL certificate and here you have to set the name SSL certificate select your certificate I have downloaded from the SSL website. Server gets slow a little bit. Select the certificate, open. Select the private key. Open and save. Okay, there is your certificate is ready now go to that ip range select internet and select require ssl and uncheck that below emails select here select external uncheck this external to external and put this one save okay now go to that TCP IP ports add 0, .0, 0 with the any network 465 SSL all right so there is my port is there now on more port we have to add for the IMAP the secure IMAP support to any network 993 action security ssl save okay and 
and complete the rest settings go to 587 also select operational optional star tls select certificate save and do on 25 also optional save so okay ready so now we will configure our smtp delayer go to that first first we before that we will configure dns records go to that dns my dns is the code id so i have already configured with this ip mail and mail dot let's ping okay the the mail dot pablo mean is binded with the with this our server ip is already there and we need to add ms records mail pablo dot me yeah. save all right so now let's go to the send grid so this is the send grid uh, you can create free account for that first testing emails okay go to the settings first authenticate your domain next my domain settings are on godaddy so put your domain name but me for example you can see your name will appear like that in the emails and now we have to add the cname into that godaddy dns management okay i will fast forward these things so c names are successfully configured now let's go to the send grid again select this one and verify okay it works now go to that center email configuration put all right so our both things are verified email plus domain now let's go to the client our server site and we will configure that SMTP layer choose SMTP relay okay so now this is the SMTP settings select the first server Select the password. Code I will use 465. Username is API key. And select the SSL. There you can see 465 with the SSL. Save. Now go to the Outlook. yes yes select i map In. me select i map mail dot public dot me mail dot public dot me put password and select more settings select outgoing server yes and select SSL 993 select SSL 465 and 
ओके नेक्स्ट यस ओके ओके फिनिश सो देर इज अवर ईमेल I will keep on top. So we we'll create new message to Gmail. Testing email. There, how it works. Yes, send. There should be our email. So there is the email. Reply. What? Great. Thank you. Next. So we should get emails. All right. Okay. So there is a reply from our Gmail, and I will show you that my Gmail.